A major astronomical event that can be viewed with the naked eye is about to take place in our skies, with potentially hundreds of meteors visible per hour. The Geminids are considered one of the best meteor showers each year because the individual meteors are bright, fast and intense. The Geminids are a reliable shower, especially for observers from dark sky locations in the middle of the night. People also often report seeing Geminids in the late evening. The Geminids' meteors are very bright, medium fast and unusually multicolored, mostly white, some yellow, some green, red and blue. These colors are caused in part by the presence of trace metals such as sodium and calcium, the same effect that gives fireworks their colors. The meteor shower is said to produce more than 150 meteors per hour at its peak, but due to light pollution and other factors, the number of meteors seen is actually much less. The Geminids are relatively easy to find in the night sky, as they are located northeast of Orion, between Taurus and Cancer. The two brightest stars in the constellation, Castor and Pollux, represent the heads of Gemini. However, you should not look directly at the Geminids to find the Geminid meteors, as the shooting stars are visible across the entire night sky. Meteors closer to the radiant point have shorter orbits and are harder to spot, so be sure to focus your gaze on nearby constellations. If you only look at the Geminids, you may miss the more spectacular Geminids. The parent body responsible for the formation of the Geminids has been identified as asteroid 3200 Ferthen. This differs from most meteor showers, which are caused by comets rather than asteroids. 200 Ferthen was discovered in images taken on October 11, 1983 by Simon Green and John Davis of the Infrared Astronomical Satellite. Originally named 1983DB, it was given the asteroid name 3200 Ferthen in 1985. After the orbit was calculated, Fred Whipple announced that the asteroid had the same orbit as the Geminids meteor shower. This was highly unusual, as asteroids had never been associated with meteor showers. This strange asteroid behaves like a comet, orbiting the Sun every one point for years. When Earth flies through the debris left behind by Ferthen, the asteroid fragments heat up as they enter Earth's atmosphere and burn up in a bright flash. You'll probably have the best chance of seeing meteors anytime between the 14th and the 15th of December, as this is the peak time, but you can see them anytime between the 4th and the 20th of December, especially when the skies are clear. For the best conditions, find a safe location away from street lights and other sources of light pollution. Meteors can be seen anywhere in the sky, so it's ideal to go to a wide, open area where you can see the night sky with your eyes. However, if you follow the meteor trails, they will appear to come from the constellation Gemini. It's recommended that you don't look directly at the radiant point, as this may limit the number of meteors you can see. Instead, if you look to the side at a dark area of the sky, you'll have a better chance of catching a glimpse of a meteor. 